my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today we're going to do a tip, trick or a hack in under three minutes. We'll be doing lots of these in the future. So make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified of when I upload. Today I'm going to teach you all about weeding boxes. Weeding boxes are invaluable. Two reasons really. First of all, very obvious to help you weed. And second of all, they're great for placing your items centrally. So I'm in design space and I've got my design and I've also got a square. So I'm going to place my design in my square. I'm going to highlight both of them. I'm going to go to align and center. I can then come to the bottom of my screen and I'm going to click attach to attach them together. I can then go to make it. I can then choose my cut setting. I'm going to choose the vinyl setting today. My design is now all cut out, so I'm gonna turn my mat over. And just a quick tip, if you turn your mat over and you remove your mat from your vinyl, it will stop your vinyl from curling. Now you do want to be careful not to over bend your mat. They can snap if you do. So you want to do it in small sections. So I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm just going to snip all the way around so I've got a small vinyl border between my box and where I'm snipping. Using my weeding tool I can then grab a corner of my box and I can start weeding away. So we've got our vinyl border. This is not what we're working with. We're going to keep it so we know where our box is but it's our box that we actually need to concentrate on. I'm going to place it over and then I'm going to use my fabric brayer just to transfer it as normal. I can then come in and remove the backing paper. What I want to do is I want to place the line of my box around the outer edge of my wood. Just like that. When I'm happy with the placement I can then just come in and smooth it down. And I can then go in with my fabric brayer and just give that a really good roller. I can then peel back my transfer tape and I'm going to take away my border with me as well. So I'm only then leaving the design. I can then remove the border from my transfer tape. And there we go. That's how we use a weeding box. We've managed to weed easily so we can see exactly where our design is. And it's also helped us to place our design perfectly essential onto our item. Mm.